Good evening. Welcome to tonight's webinar. Tonight uh, I'm going to be discussing the provisional restoration as a template for dental reconstruction. My name is Dr. Robert Lowe. I practice in Charlotte, North Carolina. The, the material that we're highlighting tonight in our program, Structure 3, and, and I've used many provisional materials over the time, and you, you know when we go through the, uh, the uh, steps of fabrication, um, some of you as doctors will do the fabrication. Some of this will be delegated to dental assistants. You know, in my practice, it's kind of a little bit of both. I've, I've trained my dental assistants to, to uh, do provisionals, but uh, we kind of do this as a team. Um, but you have to be very you know, methodical in, in the way you do things. I, and that's where you're going to take advantage of, of the nanotechnology of, of Structure 3 because literally this material is, is shiny without polishing. Now, you, when, you're, when you have areas that you have to adjust, um, you'll, you'll still need to go through your polishing regimen, but when you're done polishing, this provisional material will sparkle. But look at that number on the bottom. Compressive strength over 500 megapascal. That's huge for bisacryl. So meaning on long spans, we, we can have a, a, we can feel a little bit more secure in the fact that we're not going to have patients calling us up at inopportune times to remake and redo temporaries. Here's the provisional uh, after it's taken out of the stent, and, and for my provisional courses where we do hands-on, I always have the the students draw the teardrop-shaped cusps in the proper position. Here you see the mesial lingual to distal buccal cusp. The buccal, mesial buccal and distal lingual, they don't touch. And then using a 557 straight Fisher Burr, you just erase the lines. Now the slide on the lower right showing bite registration. I take the bite registration only over the teeth that were prepared. Here's Boca's Registrato, a nice stiff um, polyvinyl bite registration. So this is excess. I've got a couple video clips here. You'll see this little dot that I've made with the pencil. Coming around That's to the, the contact. Lingual. I always mark the provisional and carve around the contact area. I carve around the contact area. See how I maintain Because a lot of times area? if you don't mark the contact, this uh, um, will be erased, and then you'll have to add the contact back with uh, flowable resin. Also notice the gingival embrasure is going to make space here. There's a concavity uh, that's cervical to the contact point that we need to hollow out and make room for the patient to be able to um, Angle this burr at a 45 degree angle, to clean. and I'm going to erase the lines. Now, one thing I was always very good at as a child was staying within the now, lines. Now, here I'm demonstrating the using a 557 straight Fisher burr. You can see I've, I've drawn the pencil outlines of the cuspal positions for this three-unit bridge, and now I'm merely erasing those lines. So we've got an easy angle. I'm going to turn. I'm sorry, distal buckle. I'm going to turn said, around. If you now here, uh, and put a the, hole in the bottom here. You know that you haven't reduced enough. Mesiolingual cusp, second premolar, distolingual cusp. The next slide is from a slightly different view. You see the two uh, um, cusp on the lower first, uh, lower secondary second premolar, because really smaller distal secondary cusp, and a larger is, lingual cusp. And these is, lines is that come over the, the facial the sutural grooves are really continuation of the central groove, the buccal groove, the, the distal ridge. buccal groove, the lingual groove. And secondary so grooves into lobes. That emanate from fossa. Again, you'll say, why this detail in the temporary? Well, my distal preparation's under here. If I want my final restoration to have that detail, if my preparation's or too close, on marginal ridges we're going to be showing the molar. zirconium or metal through because there isn't enough thickness to allow for proper contour. If you move the brush in different directions, so you see if you haven't done the adjustments, the you can just wipe and go. If there's a definitive wax up here before, up. I would be uh, uh, finished already. But since I did a little bit of carving on the occlusal, I'm using a uh, medium bristle brush. You see how quickly that 
brings a polish, the room out of your fingers and breaks into a million Followed pieces. Followed by a, a felt over. wheel or a and uh, believe small that muslin wheel. And you'll see the luster that comes onto that. It's gorgeous.